Okay, in this video, we are going to be looking at upgrading an Ollie King from GD ROM to Sega's new Compact Flash Kit. And this is a great upgrade in that it allows you to get rid of that pesky old GD ROM and the disc read errors and all that stuff and go to a solid state solution. So, opening up the Flash Kit here to show you what you get in the official kit from Sega. And what we have here is you got a table of contents. You get the GD ROM update kit, uh, the actual software, the assembly for the compact flash box, some screws, instructions, and some stickers to put on the actual uh, Chihiro mainboard itself. So, digging further into the kit, here's the instructions and the stickers that you can put onto Let's see if I can get that to focus but basically it just shows that the, the main board has been updated and further into the kit here's the mounting hardware it's just a four screws very standard straightforward stuff we have the actual software itself I'm not getting it to focus here but this is the Ollie King compact flash card that's Lulu by the way and further into the box we have drop everything here the compact flash kit itself or the box itself wrapped in bubble wrap here Pull this out so you can see. And it is just simply this little metal box. Got to place a connector for the SCSI cable, and then the power cord connects here. This is the same cable that you would normally power your GD ROM with. Nice Sega label, part number, and we'll go ahead and put the software in that in a little bit. Dig further into the box here. And we have the GD ROM itself. Sorry for the shoddy camera work there. Here is the Firm update for CF box, Chihiro disc, and you have the uh, security chip as well. So that's that's kind of the overview of the kit. We'll go ahead and uh, move around to the back of the cabinet and show you kind of what we're going to be doing here. Here in the back, you have. Of course, there's your Chiro motherboard, and here's the almighty GD-ROM unit, which we'll be replacing. So to do this, basically what we're going to do is upload the, we'll, we'll take the Ollie King disc out, put the CF update date disc in, power the machine up, and let it update the firmware on the motherboard. And then we can get rid of this whole assembly here, put our new, nice new CF box. Alright, powered up the game. And as you can see, maybe you can see with the glare, um, basically comes up the system update screen that tells you what you're going to be updating from, in this case the boot version 205 to 219 uh, SC firm version 109 to 1.10 and then it gives you the information on the serial, the media board firm version and then of course the network board firm version from 1207 to 13.05 some programs are illegal or invalid a neat little counter up in the top screen. 
doesn't really serve much of a purpose, but we're going to press the test switch to go to the next. Gives you a screen, says this is what you're going to be updating. Test switch again to update. Now we're going into the next update again. And basically what it's doing is it's just going through all the different versions to make sure that they are the most up to date and updating the ones that need to be. So this update, again we push test and it starts up the update process. Updates completed already. And this should be the final one, the media board. Then we we got the final OK. Everything is completed. We're going to go ahead and turn off the power. OK screen. If it's a if the update was successful. Run through the checks. Oh, there's the green. Everything is up to date. So that means we are officially done with this bad boy right here. I'm going to power the cabinet down. We'll go ahead and remove the update key chip from the motherboard. Put the Ollie King key chip back in. Get rid of this. Gonna mount the compact flash kit, and then it'll just be a matter of one final test to make sure that it's working properly. Okay, here we are some time later. Actually, this is about two weeks later, uh, thanks to an issue that I had with a faulty CF card. But uh, here we are. We've got the card reader hooked up. All the wires run into it, SCSI and power. As you can see, the lid is off. You can see the CF just plugs right in, right here. Just slides right in. You can swap it in and out. Uh, if you were wanting to run another game on it, you could, as long as you had the, the uh, compact flash version and the key chip. So we'll go ahead and uh, button this up, put the lid back on it here in a minute. But uh, otherwise, you can see it's mounted firmly on the old GD-ROM mount, but for right now we're going to go ahead and power the game up to make sure it's working. And those of you that have GD-ROM games, you'll notice that it's loading much, much more quickly than it than a traditional GD-ROM would. Um, it typically gets the load time down to a couple minutes or so, and uh, this seems to be going well. We should be playing Ollie King here in just a minute.
for those that are interested, if you can see out there, there's snow on the ground. It is February, but it's about 70 degrees. I'm wearing shorts today, so it is beautiful today. And we're still loading. while we're waiting I could talk a little bit about the cabinet. This is a dedicated Ola King. It's in excellent, excellent shape. Um, it was a one location game. Uh, the previous owner put it out in a movie theater I believe where it spent its whole life and uh, when they retired it I managed to pick it up fairly reasonably and uh, now it re resides here in Arcade Sega. Now we're done loading. Testing should go fairly quickly. And that's all she wrote. Uh, thanks for watching, and uh, hopefully, I'll have some uh, more vids for you soon.